In this video I want to show you how easy it is to make a few modifications to your WordPress templates and I'm going to just highlight one particular area and that's the header of your template and I've chosen a particular template because somebody had actually asked me about their site that was built with the same one and rather than use their site as an example I found some other sites on the internet that use similar templates or the same template and I can use that as uh, or for examples now what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a tool called Firebug which you can download for free for Firefox and it also there is a version for Chrome as well and we're going to look at how we would edit the CSS file with your, within your template to make changes to the way that your header looks. If we take an example here's some um, WordPress templates by StudioPress and if we go into one of the templates you will see that the template has a style.css file. That is the file that you will want to edit. If I just quickly show you what it looks like, it can look a little bit daunting if you don't know what CSS is or you don't know how to use CSS, but um, we're going to have a look how easy it is to actually make some minor modifications. This is the CSS file here. And the plugin that you're going to need, as I mentioned, is Firebug. You can do a search of Google for it. There's a plugin for Firefox and a plugin for Chrome. Download it, and when you've got it, you'll find a little icon down there that looks like a bug at the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to look at is this header section of this particular site. And if we open up Firebug and we click on this little button there to, to check an element of the page, we can then move the mouse over the page and it highlights boxes. So let's first highlight the header of here and click on it. And when we click on the header, we get the information from the style sheet that relates to that header shown over here. So the header logo, we can see that the font is Georgia or, or Times New Roman or Times or Serif, depending on what's on the machine. We've also got font size, font style, font weight, and letter spacing. And the letter spacing is the first thing I want to show you because if you look, the letters here are very close together and some people want them a little bit more spread out and this is the line here, letter spacing equals minus four. If we deactivate that line, watch what happens to the header. You can see the spacing is spread out more. And what you can do in Firebug is you can play around with the numbers. Let's change it to three, minus three, I mean. Minus two, minus one, zero. Let's change it to three and then you can see it's spaced out a lot more. So what you would do is you would find this section in your CSS file, header, logo, and you would adjust that figure and save it to your server. So you would go in and directly edit the CSS file, not with Firebug, because Firebug doesn't make permanent changes. It just allows you to inspect the elements of a page and see what would happen if you did certain changes to it. For example, if we could get rid of this font size here, and there it is, it's just disappeared now. That's showing there because the font size has been increased to 47. But you could have a play around with that. And let's see, change it to 100. Well, it's far too big. So in this way, we can inspect and see what changes we could make to the style sheet. The other thing here is the description from my home to yours, it says. And over here, we've got the header logo description, and that tells us um, some information about that particular element on the page. This text align center makes this appear more central. If we get rid of it, it appears over on the left hand side. And again, we've got this letter spacing, which you could play with, font size, and so on. Let's have a look at a different website. And this one has um, a header that has it all capitalized in the main header. So let's inspect the element and see why that is. Okay, if we come over here now and look at the header logo, we can see that it's got this line here, text transform equals uppercase. What happens if we disable that? We've now got lowercase. And that is a, a common thing that people want to do. They want to change their template from being all uppercase to normal case or change it to uppercase. Let's have a look at another template over here. This one, the text is all running into each other. So let's have an, a look at that element. And if we come over to the logo section over here, we can see that 
we've got letter spacing equals minus six, which is why those letters are all running together. If we disable that, you can see they're now separate words. We can also have a look here, text transform uppercase, if we get rid of that, and let's disable that letter spacing, we've now got normal text. So let's have a look. We go back to this particular blog. What we could do is we could put this, for example, this description in all uppercase. So let's have a look at that. Let's go back and we'll grab the code from this site. Here it is, all uppercase, text transform. Let's copy it. And we go over to the single mums site and I'm going to go over to the CSS file here and click on the edit button and we're now in edit mode so that it does um, edits to the CSS file. It doesn't write to your server as I've said, it just makes changes in this window so you can see what would happen. So let's put in that transform text and see what happens to the description above. There you can see now it's gone all up to uppercase. So in this short video I've shown you how easy it is to inspect elements on the page just looking at the header and the description on various websites using Firebug and then see what would happen if you decided to change segments of the code. And just to recap, when you've decided on the changes that you want to make, you need to edit the template files on your server. This is the file you want to edit, style.css, or it will be something named very similar to that. And it's found right within the template folder inside the themes folder of your WordPress install.